I'm working on tooth 7. That's the second incisor on the outside, which would be the distal side. I've been cleaning it up. There's an abscess that's starting to act up, and then I need to get to the abscess before it starts to cause trouble. And then there's some calculus around the edge, and you know, let's call it a ring of calculus. And then I'm trying to remove that as much as I can so that I can get a better access to the abscess. So, actually it's traumatized right now. There's still a area there that's kind of messed up. So I'm going to start more or less in the center. I'm going to come around in sort of a circle. So it's going to be like a almost like a pirouette around the tooth. So let's see how I do. And then what I have in mind, or this is my logic, that uh, there might be a piece of calculus that's blocking the abscess from escaping. So if I can dislodge the piece of calculus, it'll be almost like a plug in a bathtub. Anyway, let's give it a go and let's see how I can do here. If I can get enough depth, I can hope to catch the thing that I have in mind on the tip of this and then bring it around. If I get blood, then if I can get the point here to catch on that thing and then pull it loose. This is called a, a Montana Jack. Very brutal instrument. So anyway, let's just see if I get lucky here. I have to get to the outset. And this is where I suspect I have the most potential. Okay, this looks like it might be a top maybe. So what I'm going to do is get it into the, there's a little bit of blood coming out. There's definitely something there. So we're just going to assume calculus. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of ingratiate myself with this thing and hope I can get it to come loose. Got something. See, the other thing to consider is you can get some of the stuff out of the way. You know, I'm pretty sure there's going to be calculus. She's got blood. There's definitely calculus. These are not big pieces. Okay, so maybe this is not the right tool. What's happening is as I'm going around the edge, I seem to be losing my ability to maintain contact around the corner. Or it could also be persistence. But generally, I prefer luck over persistence because if you're lucky, what's going to happen is some large piece will just give itself up. And then, you know, you got yourself a pretty good accomplishment there. If you have to take it piece by piece, that's not as good. Not that significant. See, like I said, what I have in mind is some type of relief. If I can just get in there and relieve that thing, it's actually very deep. That's the reality. See, once this thing recovers, I can still go in one way or another. Basically, I think there's a giant piece in there. That's what I think. Uh, but I just might not be, it just might not be ready to get the thing to come loose. Again, all these very small pieces, which maybe in total add up. Here, there's another piece right there. No giant piece, but it is adding up. Again, so the logic is, I'm assuming there's a giant piece in there that's like a plug that's blocking the passage from the abscess. So there's two things going on. One is the physical blockage of the piece. So if it's removed, then it's not blocking the way anymore. That's one. Two is the general swelling caused by uh, infection. So once the trauma subsides, since there is less stuff, even with stuff left, it can still shrink. When it shrinks, there's a very good chance that the abscess will then get an escape. Now, unfortunately, the gum is going to suffer. There. See, there's a pretty big piece there, plus some good-sized blobs. Hmm. Let me put it right here. Okay, so what I do now, you just start to shake. Just like this. 
Okay, I'm getting the blood. The blood. Again, nothing big. But I am getting blood. So, what that means is that there's something there. Again, no major piece. But, it starts to add up after a while. And then, and just because I'm here, there's so much blood. That means there's something going on. So, I try to get the angle. Same thing, I start to pull. Like this. Like that, see? Take the sheet. Okay, I got a major blob. Um, there's something big in there, and I managed to make some progress on it. Okay, so this is actually turning into something positive. Now, unfortunately, though, it's, you know, it's really trashing my gum. I just have to hope that when it recovers, it won't be that damaged. So, definitely progress. Okay, go back to place with the blood. Should I go up? At the point, and then contact. Now, okay, so there's definitely, see, every time I go there, it's just, see, there's just blood. Okay, so again, I pull. Yeah, see, there's a pretty good size blob there. You know, one theory is just to keep going. Forget these intermediate steps where you, you get this thing and then let it recover and then you go get some more. You just say, hell, this is a, a brutal operation. But that means pretty much it says keep going until there's no more blood. Like right now, you're going, oh, there's a lot of blood. You must be traumatizing it. I did this yesterday. Yeah, let's well, stop. And they say, no, just forget it. Just try to get to the area where there's the blood. Hang. And then pull. Okay, there's a pretty good sized chunk right there. You know, and you're saying, oh, even if it goes raw, at least it'll be clean. And here's another one. See, because what happens when you start the process here, you know, the stuff that's in there, that's that's nasty as well. So, you just think as long as you got it open, you might as well take advantage of it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come swing around again with the blade. Then... Just go real carefully along the top here. And when I get to the the corner, this one is going to start to it's going to start to fear wet. Ow, that hurt. See here, see the issue is that as I'm coming over the top, the issue is that the blade is sideways. So you can just imagine it jerking like this, and then it's just pulling into. Huh, very sensitive tissue. Now when I finally make it to the side, then I can start to fold down or so right here. See this here it just starts bleeding. You're right here. It starts to bleed. So you're saying, okay, well, guess what you do here is start to get it to set on the tooth. The assumption is that, is that this exit pulling out is being blocked by a piece of calculus. Okay, so now, here, nothing happened. So now, so then what I do is once I get to that spot, I start to fold down with more, here, see, look, there's a piece of genuine calculus there and it's a pretty good sized piece so then what happens as I pull down I give myself more allowance but I still don't want to slice anything up yeah I got a lot out 
me. Let me right here. Go back to this blood thing. Okay, go up here. The blood is my signal. Here, here's the blood. Maybe that piece I pulled out, maybe that was the the general trigger. But I suspect there's something up there that's bigger. Uh, yeah, there's probably right there. See, unfortunately, this again just pulls right into the gum. So that's what I don't want to do. Okay. Okay, see? Fair amount of blood. See how much blood I get when I come around. Some chance I can get this thing perfectly clean. That's pretty good. There I go. This looks like a pretty good chunk. There. Here's a pretty large chunk. This is the Montana Jack. Okay, so let's check out the hall. You can see quite a few pieces there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Looks like about seven fairly large pieces, plus at least a dozen or more. Let's say medium to small, and then a whole bunch of smaller ones. And then here in the water, there's got to be five or six pieces. So, you know, all in all, that was a pretty significant haul. But you never know. It may, it may set it up for the future. It's always possible. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the, uh, the toothpick to dislodge anything that's still there. Okay, that maybe one of those pieces that I couldn't get with the current. I might be able to get to come loose. That's one. And then two... I'm going to stick this needle up there. There's squirt some water in there. What is anything else there that just wants to come loose? So just sort of help it out. Okay, so the idea is that if I somehow manage to get rid of a good portion of the calculus in that area, then it might be possible that once it regresses, that the, the abscess will free itself. And... If it doesn't, the other thing that'll happen is it'll make it easier for the needle.